Now one thing to be aware of is that there are unnatural color foods on the market. And some of these foods have particularly high levels of vitamin D3 and high levels of salmon pituitary gland, which contain hormones. Now, the people that sell these foods will clear, will clearly state that there's no hormones in their food. And they could quite easily say that no hormones are added to their foods, but the salmon pituitary gland, which is an ingredient in the food, means that they end up with hormones in their foods. Now, this is the same gland that makes the salmon bright orange at certain times of the year. Now, if you force a fish to color up before it's meant to color up, or a female colors up like a male, or I guess you could say a female fish that's decided to identify as a male, um, that's not a good thing because the consequence on the body of the fish, on the immune system of the fish, over a period of time will become dire. So with these hormone foods, generally they will recommend for a couple of weeks, feed them completely that food. And then after that, they'll say something like 10% of the diet should be that food. But just be aware that the price that the fish are paying for you to have colorful fish may not necessarily be worth it. So you think it's great because you've got these beautiful colored fish, but the disadvantage is that it's at the cost of the fish itself. So you will find over a period of time, relative to your water quality and the mix of the diet, sometimes the fish just die for what appears to be no reason and that will usually be a failure of the liver because things like vitamin d3 destroy the liver of the fish um, and i also do notice sometimes osmoregulation problems where the fish just for no reason um, lose their osmoregulation system and look like a skeleton very quickly and the fish definitely have lower immune systems they get white spot easier, they're scratchier, just like a steroid dude who's all pumped up on steroids. He looks amazing, but he can get a cold and die easily because his immune system has been compromised by these crazy things he's doing to his body. Anyway, if you have anything to add to this topic, then chuck a little note on the bottom of this video. But my advice is love your fish and be good to your fish and don't expect too much out of your fish. So feeding them this sort of cheating crap is not real good for your fish.